Hello, my nerds. How you guys doing today? So, uh, it's kind of um, mid-evening at the moment. It's going to be about 6 o'clock. I'm in Minnesota. Uh, and I'm just kind of waiting to get into a door here at the uh, shipper. Uh, they're taking forever. I got here at like 9.30. And uh, I was supposed to be loaded up by two, by 12. And it's, going, and it's past 6 o'clock. And they're still, and I'm still just sitting here on my ass. So, uh, I just thought I'd maybe, I could do a video. Okay, so, um, let's go ahead and talk about the first, uh, Discovery of Witches. The first book of Deborah Harkness's All Souls Trilogy. Um, let's see. So, uh, like I said, I really love this trilogy, you know. And uh, when I first started, thought about doing this, uh, channel, I really thought about the, um, how I was going to talk about books, because I, I wanted to not spoil anything, but at the same time, I understand that people don't read as fast as me. You know, back when I had time before all this, um, you know, I was able to go through, you know, kind of depending on, you know, what overtime I was looking at at work and, uh, you know, what I had going on in the house, but I could knock out two, three books a week, you know, and uh, I realized not everyone can read as fast as I can. So, um... But, you know, I also didn't want to do this thing where I would lightly talk about a book, lightly talk about another book, and then do that like ten times, and then go back to the first book, because that would just be, you know, confusing. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and talk about the first book, A Discovery of Witches, in detail, and then I'll talk a little bit about the second book, and then the next, and then uh, if I don't do, if I don't discover anything and uh, decide to, um, you know, do like a mid-video or anything, I'll uh, talk about the second book in detail, and then talk about the third, and then same thing, talk about the third in detail. So, um, that's how I plan, that's how I kind of wanted to do things, um, but I just didn't know, like, if I should talk about the books sequentially, or give, or, uh, talk about different books, or, uh, you know, how much time to go in between, uh, talking about, uh, the books in this, in the series. So, um, but yeah, I decided, you know, I'm just gonna talk about it, um, you know, if you want to avoid spoilers, uh, feel free to avoid spoilers, you know, uh, go ahead and, uh, watch another, watch another video, uh, lots of book channels out there you can watch, they, uh, recommend great books, you know, uh, actually on my, on my personal Facebook, I have, uh, you know, you're able to save, um, different posts to different, like, um, lists, I have a list entitled books, oh my god, that thing is just so long, like, oh, I have so many recommendations for books on there, that, uh, it's, it's just ridiculous, anyway, um, Go ahead and let's go ahead and talk about um, a discovery of witches. So you meet Diana, and Diana is a witch, but she doesn't like being a witch. Um, her parents were killed in Africa when she was a girl. She was raised by her aunts, um, and aunts, and one, and they're a lesbian couple. Like I absolutely love that. Like this, like um, this was great um, inclusion for the gay community, and. By the way, I know I'm going to trigger somebody because it's like, oh, it's not the gay community, it's the LGBTQ uh, plus. And it's like, no, that's a tongue twister. I'm just going to say gay community. So when I, gay, gay, when I say gay community, I'm, I'm going to mean the whole um, LGBTQ, LGBTQ, LGBTQ plus community. Okay? So when I say gay, I mean the whole community. And if I'm talking specifically about a gay man or a gay man, I will say specifically gay men. All right, so for me, it's just easy to just say gay. That's it. No way, fans or buts about it. It's not straight, basically. All right. So if you have a problem with that, I don't care. Um, anyway, so um, that and anyway, uh, great representation of the gay community by the ants and um, <coughs> um, stupid cough it just needs to go away. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, so you meet Diana and uh, she comes from a long line of uh witches uh and witches are also are also uh male as well so when you say and this is not just me saying it it's also the books you know witches are male and female okay like that's it there's, there's no uh they might they i think they might go by sorcerer i i forget um but no it's typically they're just witches um anyway um where was i right um so, uh, she comes from a long line of witches. In fact, one of her ancestors was, um, one of the, uh, what's her name? Uh, something Bishop. 
Uh, one of the Salem witch trials uh, witches uh, that was uh, accused. Uh, I don't know if, I can't remember if she was acquitted or not, uh, I forget. But, uh, yeah, so, and in fact, I think it was her aunt, uh, her ancestor that kicked off the Salem Witch Trials. So, um, that, that was actually kind of a good and in, great uh, inclusion uh, to make. And uh, she, and Diana, is a uh, professor. She is a historian, and she, her focus is on alchemy, or it is on uh, ancient sciences, really. And one day she gets a book that turns out to be a um, that turns out to be spelled, and for some reason it reacts to her, and it kind of sends out a signal that other people um, are able to kind of pick up on. They don't know exactly what happened, but they're able to kind of pick on that something happened, and all of a sudden, you know, everyone kind of is very interested in this book. And that's because many of them believe that this book is something special. Um, vampires believe it details the um, well. Vampires and, and demons, to a uh, to an extent, um, details the beginnings of their race. And um, more specifically, for demons, uh, they believe it kind of explains their uh, why they exist. And witches believe it is a one of the original um, Grimhold or spell books. Um, and witches actually also believe that they themselves created vampires, so it's it, it's uh, basically a power uh, power grab for the by the witches. And so, um, <clears throat> in the course of you know people kind of flooding and and, and um, by the way, uh, Diana is actually at Oxford in England, um, and she is uh, trying to write a paper in order to uh, kind of get on the faculty of Oxford, and. Uh, she ends up meet, meeting uh, Matthew Claremont, who is a vampire who was actually uh, born in the 300s, I think. It's either three or 500s, one of those single digits. Uh, <coughs> and uh, so she meets him, and I really love that there's not this whole um, immediate attraction thing. There's weariness on her part, and... A little bit of weirdness on his part. He kind of falls for her faster than she does. But, um, you know, he does try to deny it. And, uh, needless to say, uh, they do fall in love. So, and, uh, so, uh, other characters, and so they're trying to, basically he's trying to keep Diana safe. Diana is being stubborn, is like, I don't want, I don't need to be kept safe. Everyone just needs to, because the book she, um, she the book the the spell book that she read the spelled book that she read was uh, in a the library in Oxford okay and she's like well if you guys want the book just put in a request and they will bring you out the book she it takes a while for her to kind of get hey the book's kind of keyed to you somehow you're the only one that's been able to get to this book in 400 years so it, it, so you really need to cut so she so people so Matthew is kind of like you need to take this seriously. Uh, and Diana's kind of like rejecting it. She's like, no, 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 I'm, I need to focus on my career. I don't want to be a witch. And she finally starts to be a witch more towards the end of the book. But um, but anyway, uh, so let's see. Other characters that you meet are... Um, <coughs> um, I'm trying to remember his first name. It's something Knox. Um, Peter Knox, that's it. He's kind of like the, one of the uh, main antagonists of the trilogy uh you meet him uh you meet uh miriam who works who is a vampire who works with matthew you meet um oh what's his name god i can't think of his name you meet matthew's uh son well really a vampire that matthew sired um marcus that's it uh Mark marcus claremont uh you meet him and then you also meet marcus's vampire uh sire mother um isabeau and her maid Mart, I um, absolutely love uh, the voice that uh, the voice actress does for Mart. Like, absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning. So anyway, uh, they deal with things in Oxford, and uh, threats are made towards Diana, um, and including a picture. And uh, basically, uh, Matthew is like, "No, you're going with me to uh, France, where to my mother's house, um, to Septor." Uh, which I believe means seven towers in French. It, I, I, I don't really 
uh, no French. So I think so. That's kind of my inference because the they go to a um, kind of a castle that has uh, seven towers, or is it? I have to look this. I'll have to look that up. What Septour actually means, but um, so they go to France, and uh, Isabeau is really against uh, the relationship. So now Diana has to kind of win over Isabeau, and she's still trying to do research for her paper, and um, it's just really. It, I really love the parts in France, um, and then Matthew eventually has to go back to England, and he leaves Diana there. And uh, it's during this time Diana starts to kind of win over Isabeau. And uh, it's absolutely wonderful, absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And uh, I, I feel like I'm saying uh all the time. I'm trying not to cough. You know, I don't know why I'm coughing. Maybe it's my posture, like, because, like, my phone's, like, right here below me, and I'm trying to, like, lean into it so that way you guys don't see my ginormous belly, you know. But, uh, but anyway, um... Then uh, Matthew comes back, they declare their love, and Diana is then kidnapped. Go figure! Um, and then she's tortured, she's rescued, they go to New York, and now they, and now Matthew has to win over her aunts. Well, she wins over, she wins over, he wins over, um, M. That, that's it, Emily. Emily, uh, I forget her last, I think her last name is Mathers. Uh, Emily, uh, the, who is not the blood relative of Diana. Uh, M is the um, longtime girlfriend slash wife of Rebecca, who is Diana's sister's, Diana's mother's sister. Okay, so um, and so then there's uh, shenanigans in New York, and uh, Matthew is almost killed by an old lover. Diana ends up killing the old lover, and makes a deal with the goddess Diana. Um, for those of you who don't know, Diana is the, um, Roman name for Artemis, who was the, um, Greek goddess of the hunt. I don't know, like, like, I'm not a, I'm not a, I love mythology, but unfortunately, my knowledge of, uh, the differences between Roman and Greek mythology is rather limited, you know, so, um, feel free to do some research on that, try to find out, and try to see what the differences between Artemis and Diana actually are. Um... <clears throat> So, uh, yeah, and then um, Matthew and Diana decide that Diana's powers are very weird throughout the book. They don't seem to act like a normal witch's. So it is decided that she needs a teacher. The problem is, is that Diana has more power, seemingly more power, than almost any other witch who is currently alive. And it's really kind of cool because Matthew, um, kind of backtracking a little bit, uh, Matthew is a scientist attached to, uh, who is a scientist at Oxford. Uh, he doesn't really teach students, but he is a researcher at Oxford. And his um, primary research is tracking ancestral lines. And uh, that's that's publicly. Now privately, he's researching the ancestral lines of uh, witches and vampires because it seems like vampires are make are uh, making are. Um, Failing at siring less and less, or more, or they're failing more and more at <coughs> at siring more vampires, and witches are just becoming less and less powerful. And so Matthew is kind of trying to uh, track that down, and he's looking, and he's able to kind of track through bloodlines. And they've even come up with a test that kind of shows um, how mu uh, what kind of magic the, a witch would have. And Diana has all of them, just hands down, all of them. And it's very weird, and it's not something that has been seen in a long time. Uh, the books are make it much more uh, scientific, and they're much more better at explaining it than me. All right, but um, so yeah, so they realize that Diana needs a teacher, and so the book ends with them deciding that they need to go back in time to where witches were more powerful and find Diana a teacher. Um, and I forget the time, and they choose the Elizabethan times. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that is Queen Elizabeth, okay? Queen Elizabeth, look look that up, and it's around that time. Uh, I think it's around the 1600s. No, um, is it 14 or 15? It's either the 14 or the 1600s. I can never remember. I can't remember, all right? I'm very sorry about this. And I, uh, hopefully I'm doing a good job of trying to explain things. 
So anyway, yeah. Um, so that's how the book ends. They jump back in time. That's it. Like you don't, they don't like land anywhere. It's literally they go through time. That's it. And <laughs> like I said, I absolutely love uh, this book. Um, I actually started uh, reading it because I saw the commercials for the TV show, and uh, I wanted to kind of know what was going on before I watched the show. And uh, the show kind of follows the book a little bit. Um, I'm not a big fan of the things that they leave out, and I'm not a big fan that they kind of reveal things um, in early in the show than they do in the book. So, uh, yeah, um, needless to say, the, the show is still good, but the book is definitely better. You know, mostly because it just has more background, more information, and just a better presentation. So, anyway, um, I think that's kind of going to be it for now. Um, I know it's, I know I made a video yesterday talking about manga, and I said I might uh, give you a list of my favorite manga, but uh, that might that's going to be just a later video. Uh, I just want to kind of get through this, uh, talk about this trilogy real quick. Uh, hopefully you guys read it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, and I hope you guys... Maybe comment down below what you think about it, and uh, if you guys know of anything similar that I need to read, or if you guys have any other recommendations, uh, comment down below. And as always, like, share, subscribe. You guys know what to do. You guys are, you guys know, you guys should know what to do. Hey, we live in the age of YouTube. All right, it should be a no-brainer at this point. So anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that here, and um, you guys have a good one.